commemorating the 20th anniversary of our reign. We are humbled by the presence here of so many emissaries and eminent chiefs who have traveled from far and near across oceans and continents to share with us tidings of amity and fraternity. We are pleased to welcome His Excellency the Vice President of the Republic of Suriname, who has made the long journey from the Pacific at the head of a 15-man delegation to be with us, and our grateful thanks go to our own Head of State, His Excellency Nanando Dankwe Kufuado, for the great honor he has afforded us in leading our elder statesmen and former heads of state, and indeed the whole nation, as our special guest of honor. Your Excellency the President of the Republic and noble guests, it was by the grace of God that we ascended the Golden Stool and seen the mantle of our forefathers on April 26, 1999. Throughout our journey, we have sought his guidance and protection, and he has never failed us. So we must see, we must see some significance in the fact that our Adekese, commemorating the 20th anniversary of our reign, coincides with one of the holiest days in the Christian calendar. A day of, resur of resurrection, a day of hope and renewal for mankind. And I pay tribute to eminent sons and daughters and friends across the world Men like the former president of the World Bank, James Wolfenson, to our late Kusubu Kofi Annan, a great ambassador of peace and development for all mankind, His Holiness Pope Francis and the Archbishops of Canterbury for giving us the opportunity to reflect the voice of traditional Africa at global level. By the grace of God and by the support of Nananum, our sons and daughters and friends, we have been true to the vision we set for our sentiment and our people, bear witness to the impact we have made on their lives. The theme for this anniversary was chosen advisedly, deepening our cultural heritage through social economic development. The ultimate goal of governance, we know, is to provide for the well-being of the people, and, and for years, the responsibility for the economic development, which will provide for the people's well-being, has been deemed to belong almost exclusively to government. Traditional leaders, who are the custodians of an undying heritage, have had no space in the development process. In ascending to the Golden School, we took the view that our heritage must mean more than the, the song and dance which, which have come to signify our culture. Yeah. We were convinced that as as the frontline leaders of the people, particularly in the rural communities, traditional leaders should be the ones who inspire and encourage effective development. Indeed, a peep into the history of our colonial past will suggest that such development as the colonial authorities brought to our people were at the behest of enlightened chiefs of the time. So, it was from this perspective that we set out our vision to deploy the fruits of our heritage in the course of development in full support of government. So, we set education as our priority and thankfully we have provided full education for so many Ghanaians who would otherwise have been deprived of the benefits of education in their lives. Today, we are proud to acknowledge that one of the first batch of recipients of our education awards is a Minister of State in the government of President Kufuado. And he joins a long line of recipients who are serving in the judiciary, 
in high public service and in the corporate world. Besides education, we have developed a program which has enabled the city of Kumasi finally achieve the long sought redevelopment of Kedetia with a new central market to create new life into our capital. We are encouraged by the number of projects such as the Kumasi Mall made possible through our direct intervention and, and by, by the number of major corporate bodies who, who have had recourse to our good offices in resolving issues and enhancing the operations in Ghana. Ghana. We mention in particular the Obasi Mine of Ango Wodashanti, which is back in production, having overcome the danger of closure. As we celebrate our achievements over the two decades past, we solemnly renew and recommit to the vision for the decade ahead. We will work in tandem with government and with eligible and willing institutions and partners at home and abroad to accelerate the pace of economic development throughout Asantiman and Ghana. We do so in the spirit that what we do may inspire similar efforts in, in other parts of Ghana, Ghana all, all of which will endure ultimately to the total, total development of our country. So, looking up to the next decade, we will urge upon the nation an end to the culture of dependency now affecting the body politic. We need to remember that the heritage of Asante is the very antithesis of the culture of dependency. It, it is a heritage of rugged enterprise and boundless endeavor. It, it was the spirit drawn from that heritage that, that was transferred into economic development when Asante ended its years as a warrior nation. Your Excellency, Excellencies, Nananum, sons and daughters of the Closing School, I urge you to rise to battle stations one more, once more, not sure. to shoot at any force, but to shoot for the stars, the stars of glory, of peace, and of development for all our people. Long live Asantima, long live Ghana. Sebeka ya chwe ni mu nyame nai, ebuwa faso, enye di ya chwe ni mu chwe nyame. Sebedi ya kone ba kwe mbo di ya chwe diye. Nese kofi ndo ni ya bintime nyine ni muampata, na u